I used to work in offices a lot, and the last job I had, I got through a temp agency. They called me on a Friday and said they had an assignment for me starting the following Monday. And it had been a while since I worked in an office, so I thought I should probably do something over the weekend to prepare to get back into all the typing and filing and phone answering and whatnot. So what I did is I had a friend of mine go with me down to the local swimming pool, and I had him tie me up in a burlap sack and sink me to the bottom of the pool. <laughs> and then right when I was about to suffocate, he yanked me up and gave me a lunch break. <laughs> and then... No. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> well, that's very, very sweet. You might be overreacting. Uh, um, at that job for one project, their whole, the building, the whole basement was just file cabinets. So for one project, they had me go down there and I filed every day, all day for two weeks straight. And at the end of that two weeks, it finally occurred to me, I'd probably be better off if I just went ahead and joined a cult. Because at least in a cult, when they suck the life force out of you, they throw in some group sex in a weird haircut. <laughs> and that's kind of fun. There was a period of time between odd jobs and starting to make a living with um, stand-up where I thought about changing careers and maybe becoming a motivational speaker. And I had this idea for a seminar that I could give called the Encounters with Depression Power Weekend. And there were gonna be three uh, classes in it. The first one is called Potato Chips, Friend or Foe. Um, the second one was Going Outside and Other Tales of Courage. And then the last one was called Sleeping It Off. It's never too early to go back to bed. <laughs> so, well. Thanks, guys. Um, you might not be able to tell because I'm up on an elevated stage, but I'm actually quite short. And um, I don't mind being short, it's not a problem. Most of the time there's one thing that is a problem, which is there's a segment of the population that believes that short adults remain childlike in that we enjoy the sensation of being lifted off our feet. <laughs> and um, I feel totally comfortable speaking for every short person in the world and saying we don't like that at all. We don't like being picked up. Don't, do not pick up a fellow adult, no matter how short they are. It's really uncomfortable. Um, it's never like the movies where you're like, wee! It's always like you're, they almost drop you. Um, and then like your shirt pulls up in the back. Um, it's really, it's actually traumatic um, when I remember it. There's one exception to that rule. There's one time where I think it's okay with short people if you pick them up. And that's, this is how that scenario goes. You see someone coming towards you with the intention to pick you up, and it's usually a guy, and it's almost always someone who's had a few drinks, and you put your hand out, you're like, stop, don't do it, I don't want you to pick me up, do not do that. And he ignores you and comes in and picks you up anyway, and then grunts in pain because you're heavier than he expected you to be. <laughs> if it ends with a trip to urgent care, then it's totally fine to pick up a short person. <laughs> Otherwise, don't do it. <laughs> 